circumference of a circle, um, by the circumference of a circle divided by its diameter. Pi can be roughly calculated with various fractions, but it's impossible to get pi by dividing two whole numbers together. Though these fractions will roughly equal pi. Three is pi without the decimals. 22 over 7 is 3.14. 333 over 106 is 3.1415. 355 over 113 is 3.141592. And the most accurate, 103,993 over 33,102 is 3.1415926.53. Now Clara will be reciting pi to 100 decimal places. And in order for her to do to how many? 100. 100. One zero five eight two zero nine seven four nine four four five nine two three zero seven eight one six four zero six six two eight no, two eight six two zero eight nine nine eight six two eight zero three four eight two five three four two one one seven zero six seven nine. You may be wondering how I managed to learn pi to so many decimal places. And there are lots of different methods of le for learning pi, but the one I use is probably the simplest. I divided the numbers into small chunks and found patterns within the chunks and links between neighboring chunks so I could remember which order they went in. And then I memorized it chunk by chunk. And these are the chunks that I used for the first 100 digits of pi. The red numbers are the li patterns inside the chunks and the underlined parts are the links between chunks. And there are lots of other methods used to learn pi. For example, you can use an alphabet called the phonetic code, which associates each number with one or more letters. For example, M is three because M has three downward strokes. And then using the letters in the right order, combined with other letters which aren't associated with any particular numbers, you can make words and sentences. So, my turtle Pancho will my love pick up my new movie Ginger and my movie Monkey plays in a favourite bucket make up the first 41 digits of pi. Another method is also using the amount of letters in a word to correspond with numbers. For example, May would be three, I would be one, have would be four, A would be one. This is the first eight, de eight digits of pi. 3.141 5926. Clara learnt pi because one day I typically got bored on the coach and decided to take on the task of learning pi as something to keep me amused. And I realised that it's really, really tricky. And um, I decided to ask Clara if we could do this together because Clara seems to remember everything she's ever told. <laughs> now we're going to tell you some facts about pi. National Pi Day is on the 14th of March, because if you write the date the American way, it's 3.14 or 3.14. And this year it was even more special, because if you put the year on it as well, then it's 3.14.15 or 3.1415. Sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 doesn't appear anywhere in the first million digits of pi, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 occurs eight times in the first million digits of pi. The Greek letter pi is the 16th letter in the Greek alphabet, and p is also the 16th letter in our modern alphabet. Pi has been studied for nearly 4,000 years. 
Some people believe that pi contains answers about the universe. Albert Einstein was born on National Pi Day. In the Star Trek episode, Wolf in the Fold, Spock beats the evil computer by giving it the mandatory instruction, compute the last decimal place, pi, uh, which occupies it so it can't do anything else. You actually need no more than 39 decimal places for calculating the circumference of a circle, as just using these digits, the answer will be out by no more than the radius of a hydrogen atom, even if the circle is the size of our known universe. William Shanks calculated pi to 707 decimal places, but unfortunately, he made a mistake at the 527th digit, and everything after that was wrong. <laughs> the first million decimal places of pi, there are 9,959 zeros, 99,758 ones, 100,026 twos, 100,229 threes, 100,250. 34s, 100,359 fives, 99,548 sixes, 99,800 sevens, 99,985 eights, and 100,106 nines. Finally, if you write 3.14 backwards, it's that, and that looks like pi. <laughs> <laughs>